We have to add the two fractions. To do so, you have to convert the first fraction to which of the following equivalent form. So an equal would be the first step when we want to add fractions like this. Here, we don't have the same number at the bottom of the fraction. Find the LCD. Very good. So you want to find the LCD or LCM. So what is the LCD here, Sunit? I think it's um, X times X minus 1 times X plus 2. Exactly. So if uh, you want to find the LCD between, uh, let's say, 2 and 3, between 2 and 3 would be 2 times 3. So here between X and X minus 1, you have X minus 1 appears uh, one time here, so that would be part of the LCD. X plus 2 would be part of the LCD, and so is X. So the product of these three terms would be your LCD. So in order to add these two, you have to make these two terms at the bottom of the fraction the same as LCD. So Ryan, what do, I, what do I have to multiply the first fraction with to make it look like LCD? Can you say one more time? Sure. I want to uh, know what do I have to multiply the first fraction uh, so we have the LCD for the denominator. What's missing here? The X plus 2 in the denominator? Yeah, very good, because uh, we already have the X here. We have uh, x minus 1 here. So what's missing here is uh, x plus 2. So I have to multiply the first fraction with x plus 2. So I would have the same denominator here as the LCD. Uh, so here the question is uh, to do this, to add these two fractions, you would have to convert the first fraction to to what? So we need to multiply, convert the first fraction to this here. So which one would be the right choice here? To me? I'm sorry, what was the question again? So which one of these would be the right choice? A, B, C, D, or E? Because to add these fractions, you would have to convert the first fraction to which of the following is the one. How might the limit be? Right, because the first fraction turns into 5x times x plus 2. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, see what we need to do uh, with the second fraction if we were going to really add these two. Uh, what do we have to multiply the second fraction with? And here I have 6 minus x over x minus 1 times x plus 2. Okay. Uh, so, Nick, can you tell me what do we have to multiply the second fraction with? You know, try the same LCD or LCM. Um, x. Very good. You have to multiply the second fraction with x over x. So now we have the same LCD here. So I can add or subtract them. If I wanted to add or subtract, uh, I would add them that. But we just answered the question here. We just wanted to know uh, what do we have to write the first fraction in order to add these two? So that would be the answer. 